A three-phased approach to reopening the country. Wuhan is revising their numbers, changes in Kansas unemployment, move over Zoom, and shopping trends. These are all the topics we are broaching today with Ms. Gina Bullard from KCTV 5 News this morning. She again is working from home, practicing her social distancing, and joining us now with a look at what's making news today. Good morning, Gina. President Trump is giving uh, some states the go-ahead to start opening back up today. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Bill. So this is going to be up to each individual state. Yesterday, President Trump released a three phased approach to reopening the country. Um, so that's going to start rolling out. But in Jacksonville, Florida, the city parks and beaches, they're going to open today for wow. essential activities in the morning and the evening. So they're talking about swimming and surfing, let, letting people exercise again. That's crazy. And it was Florida who left their beaches open for the longest time uh, prior to all the shutdowns and everything, right? Yeah, but Jacksonville does say that they are finally starting to flatten their curve. That's hmm. why they're making this move now. Interesting. Uh, well, let's go over to China. They've made a revision to their coronavirus death count. Is that correct? Yes, a big revision. So 50% more people died than were previously counted for. So this is in Wuhan, China specifically. This was, of course, the first epicenter of the coronavirus. This brings now the total of people who died there to almost 4,000. Now, the announcement that Wuhan uh, officials put out said that the healthcare system was just overwhelmed, and that's why they got the wrong count. Hmm, interesting, and that's obviously overwhelming. The healthcare system is one of the things we've been really trying to eliminate right. here by doing all the social distancing and, and that sort of practices. Uh, closer to home, Kansas is making changes uh, when people are filing for unemployment. We just had the new unemployment numbers yesterday. Uh, over 20 million people filing for these, and it's crashed the systems. But there's changes now to the uh, local way about doing that in Kansas, right? Yeah, we hear you. We've gotten so many messages from people locally saying they just can't get through to the unemployment system. We know the Kansas website crashed recently, but now Kansas is asking people to file claims on certain days of the week. So the way you do this, it all has to do with your last name. Whatever letter your last name begins with, that uh, detonates the day that you're going to file on. So if your last name starts with letters A through M, you're going to file on Sunday, Tuesday, or Thursday. If it's letter T through Z, you're going to file on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Everyone else will file on Saturdays. Reminds me of a church potluck. If you're A through M, bring the salad. If you're M through Z, bring an appetizer. So, and now Whatever let's, works. Let's move on to Zoom. Uh, Zoom has been the big you know, video conferencing uh, software that people are using, but they could have some new competition. Yeah, for sure. So Verizon is going to pay $500 million for a video conferencing company to compete with Zoom specifically. So it's called the Blue Jeans Network. Now, the thing about this, it's not free. Zoom is free. That's why it has 13 million users on it. But the thing is, the Blue Jeans Network, they, um, it has not had any security problems mm. like Zoom has had. We've talked a lot about some of the security issues that Zoom's dealing with. I have a feeling we'll see more and more of these type of apps come on. The on the playing field yeah. here as, as we keep going into this the social distancing times. But uh, uh, moving on, Bed Bath & Beyond has some insight into what people are buying now. It's just speaking of being online and buying things, right? <laughs> yeah, any guesses what people are buying now? Say that again, Gina, I'm sorry. Well, I was saying, do you have any guesses of what people are buying now that we're all quarantined at home? Well, I've bought a bunch of Legos recently, but that's just because I'm looking for stuff okay. to do around the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, at Bed Bath & Beyond, it's seen a spike in a number of different categories. Get this, they had a 400% year-over-year jump in sales of bread makers really? during the past month. Yeah, people are baking a lot of bread. I've been seeing a lot of posts about this. Also, there's been a 100% increase in the number of vacuums purchased just in the past week. So people are really uh, working on the deep cleaning of their homes. What else do you have to do, right? Some other hot categories, water filtration systems, air purifiers, kitchen appliances, uh, cleaning supplies, and also coffee needs. So if you are at home, um, your plans are 
going awry, why not make some bread, right? <laughs> there it is, the classic Gina Bullard <laughs> pun back in all of its glory. And just to clarify on the unemployment numbers, those are last names ending in A through M and then N through Z uh, in case uh, I confused everyone by, by trying to say a joke in the middle of it. So uh, Gina, we do appreciate no, your- No, it's probably me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do appreciate your, your time here this week and uh, hopefully well, we'll, we'll see you back in studio here next week, I think. So this will be, yes, be fun. I Have a great be weekend, okay? Yes, I will be back next weekend. Joe will be home. You too. Thanks. All right.